Darwin Nunez is one of the most interesting and promising players in European football right now. He'll be rocking the new Premier League season in a Liverpool jersey. But you should know that his career path is a movie-worthy drama. Let's break this story down for you. Darwin Nunez was born on June 24, 1999 in the Uruguayan city of Artigas and was the second son in the family. Nunez grew up a very quiet, shy boy and his childhood turned out to be very difficult because he spent it in the poorest district of Artigas. It was difficult for his parents to find a well-paid job, so the circumstances forced Darwin's mother to collect bottles on the streets in order to earn at least some money. And his father worked hard in construction, but he also had a very modest income. The family basically lived in poverty and couldn't always feed themselves. Darwin and his older brother, Junior, often went days without a single meal and went to bed with nothing in their stomachs. Sometimes I went to bed on an empty stomach, but the one who also went to bed on an empty stomach was my mom. She made sure that my brother and I ate first. My mom went to bed without eating. I won't forget where I come from. Darwin recalled. What's worse is that the house of the future Liverpool newcomer was next to the Aquarium River. When nature raged, floods often occurred in the areas and all nearby houses, including the Nunez apartment, were partially damaged or even collapsed. But despite all the hardship, Darwin tried to develop and went to school. However, he couldn't even eat there most of the time. While his parents always gave snacks to his classmates, Nunez didn't have a scrap of food. He was saved only by the fact that his school friends shared their food with him. And yet, the moment came when the boy left school and went to train hard to become a football player. Darwin was called skinny ass on the street because of his scrawny physique. But the kid didn't care about that and was already confidently moving towards his goal. Darwin began to play on the street a lot and then got into the Lalus Football Club Academy. He quickly outgrew his peers in terms of play there and moved to the San Miguel de Artigas school for a tougher and more interesting competition. In 2015, Jose Perdomo, a legend of Uruguayan football and a scout who followed young talents within the country, noticed Nunez in one of the matches. He saw how Darwin was crushing his opponents and after the game, he immediately turned to his parents with a request to move the kid to the capital of Uruguay, Montevideo, and sign him for the Atlético Peñarol club. Silvia and Bibiana Nunez let their son go. They had a tearful goodbye at the bus stop, and in the end, emotions and fear of the unknown got the better of Darwin. He moved and got overwhelmed in a huge city, felt lonely and scared, so he quickly returned home. It took the youngster a year to gather up his courage and return to Montevideo. They were still patiently waiting for him at the new club. Darwin managed to surprise the Atletico Peñarol coaches, got quickly enrolled in the academy and was already preparing to sign a professional contract. But suddenly, at the age of 16, he tore his cruciate ligament. A difficult operation was ahead, after which Nunez fell into depression and thought that his football story was over and he needed to return home and feed his family. The poor fellow was treated for about six months, and fortunately, all this time, the family was by his side. His older brother Junior, who also played football and also made his way to Peñarol, convinced Darwin that this was not the end and that he should continue to play. Nunez CR decided that it would be him who would sacrifice his career and not his younger brother. For this, Darwin still considers his brother his hero and dedicates goals to him. My brother was training with the first team at Peñarol. I was going to go back to Artigas with the idea of quitting football when he called me telling me to stay. Junior said I had a future in the game. 
he was the one leaving football. Nunez jumped at his chance. After recovery, he still had relapses, spent training and matches through pain, sobbed because of it and underwent another operation on his kneecap. Only that finally helped Nunez get rid of his problems. Darwin began scoring even more for Peñarol, won several trophies, progressed to the Uruguay U20 and took third place with his national team at the Youth Copa America. A little later, the striker was promoted to the senior national team. And then, he was noticed by the Spanish Almeria. Nunez moved to Europe, played one season for the new club, scored 16 goals in 30 matches, earned some money and bought his parents a new, awesome house in Artigas. After Spain, Darwin moved to Portugal. The game impressed Benfica scouts and the Eagles paid 18 million euros for the Uruguayan. In less than a year, Nunez justified the money invested in him, made his debut in the Champions League and turned into one of the most desirable players for top clubs. In 84 games for Benfica, he scored 47 goals and made 16 assists, and his market value went up to 55 million euros. PSG, Manchester City, Chelsea, Manchester United and Barcelona immediately lined up to get him. But Darwin's choice fell on Liverpool. The charisma of Jurgen Klopp, who promised the player a place in his starting lineup amid the sale of Sadio Mane, was decisive. The Reds paid 75 million euros for Nunez and promised Benfica impressive bonuses in the future. But it seems that the price tag doesn't put pressure on the newcomer. Darwin started in England brightly, and he likes it. In the preseason game against Leipzig, Nunez scored a haul, and he also scored in the first official match for the Merseysiders against Manchester City and helped the team win the FA Community Shield. Darwin will face a big challenge in the upcoming season. He must immediately, without hesitation, justify his transfer and grow into one of the Liverpool leaders, as a very big bet has been made on him. But the story of this modest fellow shows that he is ready for anything, because he has a very tough character. From a hungry childhood and poverty to the best league on the planet, and a weekly wage of 168,000 euros. Darwin's football theory of evolution in action. Guys, tell us how many goals do you think Nunez will score in the first season for Liverpool down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Have a good one and see you soon.